Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we're still watching that one area way out into the Atlantic. Now, yesterday, we were talking about it working its way off the coastline, that disturbance, and it would move its way over the waters, and it would eventually, at least it had the possibility that we could see some development. It's still very disorganized, and in the short term, really not expecting to see anything other than it just continuing to work its way on towards the west, uh, minimal uh, convection with this, but you're seeing a little cluster of some convection there. But as it continues to work its way onto the west, it's eventually going to work its way over some warmer waters, gather a little bit more strength, and then there's that possibility that we could see this developing. And so it's going to take some time. So what we're really talking about is maybe sometime next week we see this developing, and that's why you see this shaded area. And what we're looking at right now, that 10% over the next couple of days, which really is next to nothing. And over the next seven days, up to about a 50% chance of development. Remember, this far out into the Atlantic, this time of the year, generally speaking, the waters are a bit cooler, so a little too cool, but we've got the moisture in place. We have lower wind shear. We do have a little bit of drier air that is sitting to the north of this system. And so it may have to contend with a little bit of that dry air. But as you look all through this area that it will be traveling over the next several days, what you're noticing is lower wind shear. So at least you have that part of the equation in place. But there it is, that disturbance working its way on towards the west. So it's just going to be one of those areas that we just continue to watch. So we look at some of those long range computer models and what we're seeing with this is just that general idea. It stays very weak over the next several days, but you start to see it gathering a little bit more strength, a little more organization. And that's where as we head towards the end of next week, yeah, we could be talking about a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm developing to the east of the islands and then working its way towards the west. The general idea when you look at the major computer models, both the European and the GFS, we've got the big ridge sitting to the north, so it continues on that westerly track and then starts to turn more towards the north, staying out over open waters. That's the idea right now. So we're still talking a very long range forecast at this point. So number one would be, does it even develop? And if it does so, where does it go? But it does tend to look like it would stay out over the waters. But we will continue to watch this and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.